Hello, my name is Chris and today I would like to talk about how you can use a radar chart to make your point. Imagine you are the Human Resources Manager at STIOT, which is short for simply the Internet of Things, a fictional IT consulting company. STIOT is composed of a number of teams that design, develop and deliver mobile apps for Fortune 500 companies. Each team is headed by a project manager who is responsible for overseeing the development plan and schedule for the mobile app, organizing the roles and goals for the team members, and maintaining team-wide communication. In preparation for the annual employee performance reviews, you ask members of two teams to complete an online survey rating their experiences at STIOT on a four-point Likert scale labeled 1. Strongly Disagree, 2. Disagree, 3. Agree, and four, strongly agree. The experiences of interest are, I feel valued at STIOT. I can see myself working at STIOT in a year from now. My project manager motivates me to do my best work. My project manager ensures that I have the resources that I need. And finally, my project manager keeps me informed of what is happening. With the team member responses in hand, you decided to make a radar chart for the project managers currently under review. At the top of the chart is the title, along with the data source at the bottom. The four rings on the radar chart is the four-point Likert scale. The five points on the radar chart are the team members' experiences, and thus are labeled valued, committed, motivated, equipped, and informed. Now you're ready to write a three-part description and analysis of the project manager's performance from the perspective of their team members. For example, STIOT's ability to develop and deliver mobile apps that look and function beyond our clients' expectations ultimately relies upon cultivating high-performing teams. Our project managers play an essential role in not only creating value for our clients, but also ensuring the long-term success of STIOT by continuously developing our greatest resource, our team members. The executive summary identifies the unique and important position that project managers have at STIOT. They must oversee the development of exceptional mobile apps while developing and sustaining their team members' peak performance. Now it's time to see how two project managers and their teams stack up. Team CC, otherwise known as Captain Crunch, is an exemplar of a project manager who attends to her team. None of the team's experiences at STIOT falls below the average rating of 3.8. On the other hand, Team LC, otherwise known as Lucky Charms, unfortunately does not live up to their namesake. Despite feeling valued at STIOT with an average rating of 3.6 and being motivated with an average rating of 3.5, team members felt left in the dark with an average rating of 2.2 and uncertain about their future at STIOT with an average rating of 2.4. The middle section contrasts how the two teams differ on a variety of factors, which could undermine the long-term success of STIOT. Now it's time for your call to action. What needs to be done to help team members feel lucky to be a part of Team LC? Considering the unique skill set developed within our teams as they provide clients with the best-in-class digital experiences, it's imperative that STIOT retains motivated employees. The project manager of Team LC may want to host a daily morning meeting or a team huddle to not only provide project updates and weekly goals, but also to create an environment of collaboration where team members can ask each other for advice or feedback on particular problems that they face in their work. In summary, a radar chart is an effective way to visually demonstrate the commonalities and differences between different variables of interest across a variety of factors. Yet, a radar chart can quickly become complicated and hard to read if you add, for example, more factors to the chart, such as the potential for career growth and the work-life balance at STIOT. The same would be true if you add other teams at STOIT, such as Team AJ, otherwise known as Applejacks, and Team FB, otherwise known as Frankenberry. Thus, it's best to keep things simple to maximize the analytical power of a radar chart. 
but thinking about all those teams at STIOT has made me hungry. Maybe I should grab a bowl of cereal before heading off to my morning meeting. But before I do, thanks for your time, and I look forward to talking about another way to visualize data so that you can make your point.